Hey guys, NCS Fan 001 here. Welcome back to my walkthrough from Mercenaries 2. 100% of commentary. Last time we did the Paint the Town mission. This time we do the Jungle Cruise mission, which is a challenge. But you actually do have to complete the. Not what I wanted, excuse me. God, get in the boat. Thank you. And you will actually have to complete all three levels of it at some point, which I will be showing eventually. I do not like this mission. It's not that it's necessarily that hard, it's annoying, though. But you have to get this boat through all the checkpoints intact, and you get a bonus for having it with 50% health. The problem is... Yeah, I think I guess I get the game there. The main problem is, in multiple areas throughout this mission, the water is filled with mines. You hit one mine, no matter how much health you have, you're done. Challenge is over, you die. Well, you don't die, but the boat blows up if you hit one mine. Which I think is a bit unreasonable, personally. Because, I mean, I think that is a, just a bit unreasonable, hitting one mine. So you got to be really, really careful. You have the jet boost with L2 that isn't really that helpful. So take it slowly in the minefield. Okay, now we've entered a UP trespassing zone. Yep, UP will shoot you on sight in this area. My suggestion, though, is to be friendly with them so that once you get out of the trespassing zone, they won't attack you because you'll be going through Universal Petroleum Waters. Oh, no! No! Come on! That checkpoint didn't even appear until I was all the way over here. I'm not sure if this is actually a trespassing zone normally. I don't think it actually is. Though. This is actually where I died last time. So we're not going to go that way because I died going that way last time. This is when it's going to start to get very difficult. Wait, I did not just miss that checkpoint! Are you kidding me? You cannot be any gayer right now, game. There's no way I missed that checkpoint. Oh, now I can't even see the clock. That's even better. It's glitched to where when you go through there, you actually will not be able to see the clock for the rest of the mission. So you have to hope that you're doing it fast enough. Take it slowly. Take it slowly. There we go, this is going better now. Heck, it like forces you to go as close to the mines as possible to make sure that you like, to try to make you die. It's kind of cheap. Whoa, something just blew up. Okay, now I have to go from here. And I'll probably get a mine, just because like, it won't let me blow it up, I'm sure. Okay, take it slowly, don't get blown up. And the path is just so weird. Like, it directs you back and forth and back and forth and back and forth through every possible minefield. This will not be the last time we see minefields, either. Yeah, don't worry. This won't be the last time we see a minefield. We'll see them a little bit later in some of the pirate challenges. Speaking of that, I'm not sure if I said it at the beginning of the video, the pirates are now an available faction to us. We can now reach the Pirate Islands, which is very, very effective. So, that's actually pretty good. We'll actually be able to do pirate missions from now on. Oh, so we ended up with plenty of time left. Okay. Now, to finish it, what is this? We have not seen this missile boat yet. We ended up with 50% health. So we'll get the bonus. So we got 800 grand for this. 800,000. Nice. So as you can see, that is not a normal flag. That is a Chinese flag. These are Chinese soldiers whom we have not yet even met. So, so see, if you kill them, you will actually not lose any faction reputation in any factions. 
Chinese soldier down. Yep, Chinese. Now here you can actually take their SMGs. That's their typical weapon, is SMG. So now, I don't think there's any boats around here that we can take that are any fast, are there? No jet skis? Oh, there's a jet ski. All right, we're going to take this and go meet the pirates now. Go on and get a landing zone for them. Bye-bye. Or as I always call them, wave bikes, but either way. All right, so we will do the later levels of that challenge later on. But not yet. I don't really want to do those challenges at any point yet. But we'll do those in some later video. So now we get to meet the pirates. Let's see what our completion percentage is real quick. So the pirates are currently neutral. They'll start out neutral. 51, 52% approximately. It's been, get, it's been going by pretty fast so far. This is only like maybe video 18 or so. But after that, it's going to start to go by just really slowly when we're doing just HBT missions every episode. Not sure how that was my fault, but whatever. But when we start doing only HBT missions, it's going to be really, really, really boring. Yep. Now we've been up here once before for recruiting Misha right around here. But now we're actually uh, meeting them for real. Alright, we have a spare part over here. So now the pirates, they are sort of separate from everyone else. Like, unlike most factions, if you, you can still make them hostile, but they don't really have an enemy faction. They're enemies of pretty much everyone. Like, obviously, you could be friends with them, and I definitely suggest you stay friends with these guys as long as possible. The reason being, they have some of the best vehicles ever. Now, we have a few sort of stuff on here. Uh, not too much yet. So after this, though, we have some other little things. We can unlock motorcycles now. We can get speedboats. Those are both fast. Uh, those are crappy. Sports cars, very, very nice. You can get monster trucks if you want. Some other various items. Utility vehicles are kind of funny. Uh, but most importantly are the helicopters. That helicopter is crappy. The Condor is the biggest vehicle in the game, or the biggest helicopter. Some tanks, the gunny attack, don't care. The Kessler attack, which we've used before, which is not good. The best of all, the Anaconda. Very expensive, but ridiculously overpowered. So, blinded with a twist. Do level one of this. We do have to do all three levels, unfortunately. But we'll get a lot of stuff for it. Sports cars, monster trucks, motorboats, everything. Sure, it's not that bad, honestly, but we're only going to be able to do level one of this because I've sort of wasted a lot of time here. My camera only has about 15 minutes left of space on it anyway. But enough of me babbling on. Let us go. Let's -a go. The pirates have sent me the coordinates of one of their smuggling routes. These guys are. So, yeah, you'll only get percent completion for beating the first part of the mission since it's the first part, but you do have to beat all the parts of the mission because you'll unlock vehicles and stuff for it. I'm not sure what... They have... The Pirates only have two outpost missions, unlike most factions. They only have two. Which, the good thing about that, though, is that the second outpost is the best place in the game to steal fuel from. Because that second outpost has so much fuel stored at it. It's ridiculous. But, like, I think there's, like, five tanks of fuel you can steal at any one point. Very, very useful, as you might expect. That's where you're always going to want to steal from. So out here, this mission actually can give some trouble, just because the wave bike is just such a weak... <coughs> 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 oh. Excuse me there. Just because the uh, motorboat is such a weak... Whatever it's called, the wave bike is such a weak vehicle, this mission is actually made kind of difficult cannot take much fire. It's not that it's that hard of a race, though. I mean, it's one of the easier races, I think, in the game. Do, 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 do. 
making music. These guys are Jamaican, by the way. I don't know if I ever mentioned that. It doesn't really matter who you're disguised as, because you never go into really any type of enemy waters. And speaking of that, you guys may think this game world is big. It's really not all that big, compared to a lot of games. Oh my god, from what I thought, he, oh my god, that was close. I forgot about that, because once that actually happened, when I went up in there, and it actually got the motorboat, or whatever this is called, the wave bike, stuck in the rafters. I am dead serious. I got stuck in the rafters. But the mission didn't end because it didn't blow up, so that was just really annoying. Okay, take it careful in this minefield. So that was just, that was annoying when that happened. But it actually got stuck up there. It was so weird. Luckily, the good thing about the vehicle, though, is they can sort of outrun a lot of stuff. Whoa, my god! Holy crap, there was a tank up there. Turn, turn, let's go, let's go. Almost there. Yep, this is it, last checkpoint. Get out of my way, you... Wow, really? All right, let's try that again. Idiot, would you stop bumping into me? Thank you. It doesn't matter. You have plenty of time for this challenge, usually. So, with that, we get 100 grand for it, which isn't too bad. The pirates become friendly. So, friendlier rating. Or closer to friendly. And we get the wave skimmer, which is that little wave bike. And more importantly, they now have things available for us. We have HBTs and targets. We have an outpost mission. The second level of that. And a very annoying mission that I don't think we actually have. Oh, we do have to beat all three levels of that challenge. Crap. But as you can see, some of their people, HBTs, are out in the dark area, so we cannot get to them yet. So, next time... So next time we will, I don't know what we'll do. See you guys then.